Good morning. Let us pray. Lord God, although we are in different places just now and are unable to meet, we come together today as your church to praise you and thank you for your love so freely given to us all. Spirit of fire, warm us with your everlasting love. Spirit of wind, blow away hurtful words that damage relationships. Spirit of earthquake, carry away our fears. Spirit of breeze, restore our peace with your calming breath. Spirit of the living God, speak to us in words we can understand. Amen. Amen. Lord God, we pray for Elizabeth, our Queen, and her government. We pray for those in authority. Give them wisdom to make the right decisions for our people and country regarding the virus and also the other matters such as our negotiations with the European Union. We pray also for other situations around the world that are getting less coverage due to the COVID-19 virus. For people affected by Cyclone and Fan in India and Bangladesh. For the Chernobyl wildfires causing an increase in radiation levels, for the large rise in COVID-19 cases in Brazil and their healthcare system, for the situation in Afghanistan where they intend to resume offensive operations, for all families suffering abuse. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our church family and ask for your protection. We pray for the groups in our church community. We pray for the families of Mini Messi, Light Group, Pathfinders, Film Club and Ladybrook Lighthouse. We pray for the situation where children may not or may be returning to school and when returning becomes a possibility that they will be safe. We also pray that teachers and all school staff will be protected and remain healthy. We give thanks for them as they continue to serve their pupils and families in their communities. We pray too for those who have the responsibility to care for others, in particular the medical staff and care workers. We also pray for those working to ensure there is food available in our shops, the delivery drivers, the shop assistants, the farmers and farm workers. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for our church leaders as they make decisions for the future. For Reverend Chris and Ruth as they patiently wait to move to Mansfield. And we look forward to the lifting of this lockdown that will enable them to properly start their ministry. We give thanks to them and look forward to getting to know them better and to share the vision for our community and our church family. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the Mother's Union worldwide, those members who are in areas of conflict or misplaced from their homes. Lord, protect them. We pray for members in our deanery and our own branch, Lord. We especially pray for those families in our deanery that would have been looking forward to the Mother's Union away from it all caravan holidays this month. Lord, protect those families suffering due to being indoors for so long, for those struggling with tension of family life. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the homeless as they adapt to life away from the protection of the rooms supplied by the government and we pray that they are able to take advantage of new initiatives offered by our district council. We give thanks for Louisa and Penny and volunteers as they move to yet another way of serving from the Beacon premises. We thank you for all the current technology, the software, the devices, the skill and commitment of those people within our community that is enabling this different type of worship. We know that many people around the world 
are seeking comfort and guidance from streamed church services and prayers during this crisis. And we pray that they will continue to need this when the world returns to some sort of normality. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father God, in a world full of rules and regulations, where doing the right thing sometimes feels like the wrong thing, where doing nothing is easier than doing something, be with us and help us to be strong, with the help of your Spirit. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, let us pray together. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come. Your, your will be done, be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, Amidst, among, amidst all this uncertainty, help us to remember the beauty of the world you created. Help us to see the splendour, to hear the sounds of nature and to wait with patience to be able to reach out to take someone's hand or to enjoy a hug. Amen. Amen. Merciful, Merciful Father, Father accept, accept these prayers, prayers in, in the, the name, name of your, your Son, our, our Saviour, Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.